Hey there, little brothers, big brother here, and we're doing another prank review today. And this is the one, the coup d'etat, I guess, for Larry. Uh, <laughs> or rather, for us, I guess. But it was really something that he thought was spectacular. And that is the ambush prank, where I don't know what he calls it. Let me look. Ambush prank, that's what he calls it. So, oh my god, this is really long. Ugh. Okay, so I don't blame you if you don't follow me through all this. So I'm going to watch this entire setup video, including the parts that I was even present for, just because I really want to see what is going through his, Joe, and apparently my father's heads as they come up with this. And like I said before, we do a SWOT analysis, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. I said timing. In the last video, I noticed, I regretted it immediately after I said it, and then I said it again like an idiot. But I'm not going to mention the opportunities and threats because that's something that me and Jesse talk about off camera. And we talk about it off camera because we don't want to give anything out. But I would be, I, like, I do these videos just because, like, I want to hear, like, you guys react to it. I want to hear what you guys see that I don't. And there was one person who did say something, shit, I'm not gonna be able to find it, I only got like 5% battery, uh, that did bring something up to me that I didn't pick up on, and I really appreciate that sort of feedback. So I take all these things into consideration, and then I relay everything to Jesse, and we kind of hash things out, and I'm like, okay, how can we get this fucker? Uh, pardon my French, I said, I said Farker. I didn't say what you thought, I said that's, yeah. 100%. So without further ado, let's get into this video because it's going to take up a lot of time for me. Not just you guys, for me too. Right, let's get this thing started. Click! Hey everybody. What's up? Welcome to the lounge. The dark side of the lounge. Yeah, we're back. We're back and we're black ops. Well, blue, navy blue. Joe's a little gray. And gray. I'm black ops. But in nighttime. Look, I'm all black. Anyway. This is, oh, this is, this is what we got planned. We're gonna go pull a prank on somebody, and this is a long time coming. We have not got this person good yet. No, not once, and no. I feel that, yeah, not once. No, so this should be really good. We're gonna get JT tonight. Yeah, we and I mean, we did the donkey, but that wasn't everything. Yeah. I think he shot, 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 but that's not where it's going to end. We got, little, there. No, we got a little something surprise for it outside. You know, it might be in the form of a water balloon. But, yeah, uh, why not? So we should just keep on watching. And then one thing I wanted to tell you before we get there, we're going to have these in buckets, Joe. When we, when we go to get out of there, right. we don't know if he's going to chase us or whatever. Yeah, right? we'll catch him. Yo, we better be fast. Anyway, when he goes when he, when he, goes, to, he goes to do something, leave the bucket. Don't worry about the bucket. I wrote, I wrote, no, I'm not going to say what I wrote. I own buckets because he's going to watch it. Well, you know what? I don't care if you watch the video. He's going to watch the video. He doesn't know who did it anyway. It doesn't really I wrote Jesse a buzz on there so that he thinks, he jumped his ears. So he thinks that, he thinks that, that there's, well, at least it watches a couple days anyway. So we'll actually one day because we're not going to be tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, guys, you guys need to watch this. Well, I hope you're watching the video. That's stupid for me to say that. He's gonna watch the video. From he's nervous. We haven't done prank all time. And this is Black Ops. Yeah, this is Black Ops. Black, great, great, so, great so, blue. And I got a su surprise cameraman that's gonna aim on this too. It's gonna hold the camera for us. So that's, that's really cool. Cause uh, I can't get myself. I know, right? But, I'm not used to vlogging like this. No, but anyway, we're excited for this. Hopefully everything goes down right. I mean, we're we're, gonna go. the worst thing could be is if our arms are so bad we don't hit him with any water balloons because then he's gonna come after us. So um, hit and run, hit and run. That's what we're doing. Hit and run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna hit. Yeah, don't let like them clowns. Remember? All right, here we go, guys. All right, we're. I'm touching Jesse right now. Scary. Alright guys, so what we did, what we did is, we snuck in here and we turned around so we're facing out. So we can get fast, get away. Okay, right now. Jesse's gonna come out here, he's gonna help us with the camera work. Now, I'll take the camera, this camera here, I'm gonna put the GoPro on my head, right? And we got everything planned out, this should be epic, right? I'm ready. As long as Jesse can double agent us, we should be good. You find your shot. Okay, right, I'm gonna put my in character. Scare them. Black Ops, baby. Let's see. Okay, and... Is it, is it red light flashing? Yes. Alright, we're set. Did you leave it on there? You can leave your face exposed like that? Well, no, I'm on the camera, take the camera. So anyway, guys, this is what we're doing. You can barely even see me now. But anyway, so we're coming up. Oh, here comes Jesse. For real? Yeah. Here comes. He's gonna figure out. He's gonna get around. He's gonna have to. I think he's gonna light to it. All right, we're ready. He uh, looks like he's about to start That's sweet, sweet. I know. Do I have one of those masks? No. You just pretend that you just heard noise and you came outside or whatever. Who's it? That's Joe. Okay. So right. uh, what do I need to do here? I'll put the light on, like I so. said. All right, we're gonna put the light on this camera and then you take this camera. Okay, what are we actually doing now? Me and Joe will do everything. You're just fine. Okay. You don't worry about anything else, all right? Okay, can I talk or no? You can talk as much as you want. Okay, all right, yeah. All right, we're gonna turn this thing off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, why don't we need to put the phone on here, guys? What? What? It's cold, I'm not getting, I'm not getting wet, right? No, it's cold, they take you in. Wait, what do you do? Remember the turkey? Oh, wow. You don't forget, do you? I'll just keep my distance from you guys. I don't know. Oh, yeah, sorry to get you out, but just walk around. If you ask me why you're filming, just say you heard. 
Oh shit. See, this is a harmless prank. I like this. Oh, I'm gonna get on the other side. I'm gonna get on the other side. Dude, he's, he's, he's balls deep in the game. I think you're good. He's, oh, he's got his headphones on, so we should, we should be alright. the king prank the king of pranks pranking us so, and it wasn't that good so, okay now I'll tell you why I, it wasn't that good because they, to get me to come there see when I got Uncle Larry rather Jesse and I got Uncle Larry to come pick up his generator we created this story where it was going to be behind or rather I w there was this whole elaborate prank that I was going to be doing and that we manipulated Uncle Larry into thinking that he was actually avoiding it and walked right into it. See this, they, it wasn't the same thing. They took it to a whole other level. So one thing we have to keep in mind, Larry's arrogant. Joe's a little, uh, Joe doesn't have much balance physically. And that's what we learned in this video at least. And Joe is there, as a, as a strength of Larry's and Joe's, Joe is there to pretty much lure you into a false sense of security because he's so freaking positive all the time. Uh, one thing we have to look into is any areas that we're in with these people. We have to make sure that we, at least one of us, kind of scout it out. So while one person is entertaining them, the other person has to be looking around to see what's near. Kind of like you walk into a room and you immediately look like, see, like, which things are weapons that I can use to defend myself with? As opposed, in this situation, you kind of look around and see, well, which things in this room could be used to prank me with? What things in this room can I use to reverse such a prank? Um, so these are things we need to consider going forward because clearly, if they are planning something, they will want to have it in a certain area that's in proximity of where we're going to be or where we're at. They're not going to have it on them because it just wouldn't be conceivable and it would be obvious. So that's one thing that we need to consider uh, dedicated. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions that I and things that I may have missed, please drop them in the comments or tweet them at me. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Shaft2000. Follow me on Twitch, Big Brother Gaming. Tonight was the first time I streamed in a while. Thank you guys for 200,000 followers. Let's try and get to a million, all right? Big Brother out. I don't know what to do with my hands.